What's up guys, we're back with a crazy news video. Today, something absolutely insane just dropped. eBay sent out an email to a lot of people. I didn't actually get it, but I know some other people did, and I have the screenshot of it, about PWCC shill bidding on their auction. So if you might have no idea what in the world that means. I just used a ton of different lingo and some uh, letters. You're like, what are we, what's PWCC? PWCC is basically a seller who will sell for you. They sell graded cards, basically. So if you wanted to sell your PSA 10 Genzo, but you don't think your audience will get the most value when you sell it, you send it to PWCC because they have thousands of followers on eBay. They post it up for sale and they auction it off or put it up for buy it now. And you usually end up getting a much better price than you would have if you had just sold it on your own eBay. PWCC has often had really high prices compared to what people think the actual market value is. It tends to go a lot higher than what you would normally see. So that's really the incentive for people to send them in. And they've become really popular by doing like hundreds of auctions like a week. They even have the PWCC vault, which is where you could send, send stuff in. They'll do all the selling for you and all that stuff. You never even have to touch the card. eBay came out today and said... They're shill bidding. What is shill bidding? Shill bidding is essentially bidding on something you have no intention of buying. Usually there's some sort of motive for doing so, like if you want this car to be worth more because you own one. So like, let's say someone had a first edition, let's go with Jinzo again. They ha own one and they want it to be worth 10 grand or something like that. So they go to an auction and shill bid it, aka they bid it up to $10,000 and then hope someone will outbid them and then they will let them pay for it. If no one were to outbid them, then they would just cancel the auction. So basically, they make the price higher with no intention of ever paying themselves, which makes it illegitimate and basically, someone's either gonna pay way more than they should have or nobody pays for it because it's way too high. So eBay accused PWCC not of having shill bids on their auctions because you can't really control if somebody from outside comes in shill bids, but they accused Let's get the exact wording here. Individuals associated with a trading card seller, PWCC, have engaged in shill bidding. That's the exact wording. I will have it pop up on the screen so you guys can see it. So to me, when you say individuals associated with PWCC, it's a little bit vague. Doesn't mean people who work for PWCC. Doesn't mean friends of somebody who works at PWCC. Is it somebody that they paid to shill bid? You know, what? what is it? It's probably not just a random person based on associated with PWCC. I don't think bidding on a PWCC auction like to actually buy something would make you associated with them. I mean, it slightly does, but I don't think that's what they're talking about. This is huge news in itself, but PWCC has responded. I have not seen what they have said yet. We're about to check out the email they just sent out. I'm gonna read through this with you guys so we can see this together. So PWCC sent out this email. I'm assuming to people who have bought from them before or whatever, I got this sent to me by someone who got it. PWCC was shocked to see eBay's email today stating that the unidentified individuals associated with PWCC engaged in shill bidding. To PWCC's knowledge, its employees have never engaged in any behavior that violates eBay's agreements and policies. PWCC goes to great lengths to ensure that its employees follow eBay rules and PWCC employees do not have access to eBay bidding records or information. So PWCC is basically saying, we, we don't know what you're talking about. None of our employees have shill bid. We don't know about this. PWCC is considering all available legal options in response to eBay's defamatory press release. What does that mean? They're saying, eBay, you are making us look bad. You are saying that we are cheating our auctions. So we are considering legal options. And if it's true that these are actually defamatory, this could be a serious lawsuit on our hands, which would be crazy to see. PWCC suing eBay. So let's go down the trail that PWCC is actually telling the truth. They did not shill anything and eBay is defaming them. Why would eBay do that? You think, well, eBay's huge. They don't need to do that. PWCC has sold, as we've talked about, hundreds and thousands of cards, and they've even started their own PWCC website to actually do it away from eBay. And taking thousands and thousands of dollars of sales off of eBay's platform is probably not something that eBay wants. I'm not saying that eBay is actually doing this because they're angry about them leaving the platform, but it's something to think about. PWCC has only just learned of these allegations and eBay has refused to share any details supporting its allegations. Despite eBay's unwillingness to explain its claims, PWCC will continue to conduct its own internal review to ensure that its employees have not violated eBay's rules. PWCC is proud of the work it has done over the years to improve eBay's own processes and to ensure that the platform is one the users can trust. 
These efforts went well beyond the measures that eBay takes to ensure legitimate auction processes. They are firing shots at eBay right there. They said these efforts went well beyond the measures that eBay takes. So they're saying eBay auctions get shilled all of the time and we actually take more care to avoid those shills on our auctions. So PWCC has had some shilled auctions. I think everyone knows that. We've seen some go way higher than they should have and it was pretty obvious that they were shilled bid. But it, as I said earlier, it's really hard to avoid something like that. If somebody comes in with zero feedback and just starts shill bidding for no reason, the only way you can do that is just start re restricting people with low feedback, which is controversial in and of itself. But they're saying we are much more strict about this. eBay is even more lenient. So how are they gonna call us out about this and say that we're doing it? For example, PWCC worked tirelessly with eBay for over 10 years to remove the bid retraction option for buyers, eliminate forced return policies for sellers, and reduce the significantly not as described window from 30 days to three. If you guys don't know what the significantly not as described window is, that is a change that happened recently. Trading cards were basically the main reason that this happened. So if you buy something on eBay and you decide this isn't as described, you used to have 30 full days to open a return, which is pretty ridiculous. I mean, it's an entire month. You're like, oh, this isn't this isn't right on the 30th day. And this person has already sold it. They spent that money. They've used it elsewhere. And now you have to, they, they're forced to make a return. Recently, they reduced it to only three days. So you get your trading card, you check out the condition, you look at it and you say, oh, this isn't what I ordered. I have three days to return it. That way there aren't so many scams involving trading cards where people like bend up the car, a different card like 20 days later and say, oh, this is the card I got, I need to return and do something crazy like that. And they're saying, look, we helped eBay make that happen and make it better for other trading card buyers and sellers so there's not as much craziness going on. While PWCC became the world's premier site for the sale of trading cards using eBay's platform in recent months, eBay's increasingly competing interest prompted PWCC to begin the process of moving on Today's unilateral action by eBay simply hastens PWCC's move to its new platform. And that's what I was talking about earlier. PWCC has been moving off of eBay. This is what they're hinting at. They're hinting the potential motivation for eBay to, to defame us like this is because we're leaving eBay. We're taking a lot of sales away from them. We use them to gain a market and now we're leaving. So that's why eBay is upset. They're like, we gave you the ability to sell and now we're leaving. Is that the reason that this is being claimed? Is It might be true. I mean, PWCC, for all we know, this sounds really good and everything. They might actually be shill bidding. It's hard to actually know unless there's some sort of investigation. And from what I'm seeing, it seems like there might be some legal issues and then there's going to be investigations and we might find out later on what's actually going on. The new platform will be live on PWCC's website very soon. The August premiere auction will close on August 21st and the September premiere auction is scheduled to launch on September 1st. PWCC is excited about the future, looks forward to launching all new marketplaces on its new platform, and is confident in the benefits that it will bring to buyers and sellers. So that's everything. From that response, it's a really good response, honestly. That they, they gave some subtle jabs. They're like, hey guys, look what we've done. Look why they might do this to us. They might push us out. Because that seems what it might be. It might be like eBay's pushing them out because they're like, you know what, you've used our platform long enough and now you're taking advantage of it. But honestly, if that's the truth, that's messed up. It's a little messed up from eBay to lie about it. So I don't know if they're lying. Remember this. Remember this. I'm just a spectator like you guys. I'm reading what's happening and I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. So the first thing to come out was eBay saying PWCC is shill bidding. PWCC said they didn't send us any information about who was doing this, like when it was or anything. So we don't know. All we know is that we've checked in. We are very careful about avoiding this stuff, but it does seem like they think eBay is just trying to push them out. So we are going to find out more about this in the future. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments, because this is huge trading card news. You don't see stuff like this very often, like absolutely huge news. They are claiming that one of the biggest trading card sellers is basically scamming people because people who have bought from PWCC in the past are now thinking, did I get scammed? Did I get shield bid up to pay $2,000 more than I should have? And if that comes out to be the truth, there's going to be lawsuits. There's going to be issues because they're like, I bought a card for 80 grand and it was supposed to be 45. What comes to mind is that big blue eyes white dragon auction that went from like 40 something thousand to 85. If you guys remember that? It was the first time blue eyes went up for like the 80s. It did get paid for at 85, 
but it jumped 40k at the end. So was that because there was some shill bidding going on? Was it legit? We don't know. And now everything comes into question. Every PWCC auction from now on, you'll think, oh, they're shill bidding. Even if it's not true, that's the, that's the danger of defaming someone. You immediately think of the time you heard, oh, they're shill bidding. Even if it comes out to be they weren't shill bidding. This is just bad for their reputation. People don't always hear the follow-up. They don't always hear the the fix. They don't always hear where, oh, eBay lied about that. It's actually not true. It's going to make a big difference either way, whether or not it was true or false. We really don't know at this point. We've just seen both sides. Both people have come out with a statement and we're going to see what happens. It's it's absolutely wild. How will this affect trading card prices now? You can't use the PWCC auctions, really, because you're not really sure. Is that a real auction? Did it really happen? Was it shill bid? Was it not? And since those are most of the graded card prices are PWCC auctions, the rest of them are just like kind of outliers, maybe on Instagram or like a random seller on eBay occasionally. But most of the actual sales come on PWCC. So that's where your prices come from. If you don't have a price now, it's just like, I don't know. What is it? I don't know how this is going to affect it. It could cause people to be a little bit more hesitant about buying graded cards. It could th make them think, oh, I'm not going to pay that much anymore. Maybe I'll pay like a little bit less than that because PWCC went for that much. We know it's shill bid. You know, we saw it was shill bid or we think it was shill bid. Even the think makes it, you know, a little bit scary. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. This is absolutely wild. I don't know what to think about this. And that's it for this video. I think this is actually going to be a bonus video because I'm probably going to release this as soon as I'm done editing it. So you guys get two videos today. I'm thinking about a live stream tomorrow because I don't want to edit two videos tonight. So probably live stream tomorrow. So see you guys then. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!